God, me sick, me reggae feel. Reggae Well family, this is Reggae Jam 2018 and with me is three quarter under the mask of New Kingston. Yeah, Hello yeah, everybody, yeah. how is the vibe? Vibe man, <laughs> we're, we're got, we got the day off right now so we're taking in the music, you know, this, I gotta say enough respect to Reggae Jam, you know, I just ate, they fed me nice, you know, I like how they take care of the artists, you know, so it's a good vibe here, you know, Reggae Jam, big up, you know what I mean? For real, man. Who did you enjoy today, especially? Well, we just got to see the, the legend Coco T performing. It's a mad vibe. So just watch a little piece of Romaine Virgo, Virgin, you know. So, looking forward to all the artists. You know, it's always a vibes. Yeah. You also always watch them in in terms of um, your own um, show. If you can learn something from people, did you learn something today or during this weekend also? Um, I, I would say so. I feel like. And anytime you watch anything, you're going to learn something, you know. I couldn't pinpoint exactly what I learned, but I know Coco T definitely taught me something. Uh, Romaine Virgo definitely taught me something, you know, some vibes. Nice. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that you guys are enjoying yourselves. You've been performing um, yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Very, very amazing show. Um, with your dad, of course. How did you enjoy it? It was wicked, you know. This was a wicked performance. Like I said, um, Reggae Jam, the vibes, Germany is like... A different vibes out here you know we're, we're from New York City you know so coming out here and seeing how the people embrace the music even the people singing the songs you know it's like coming over here to see that is like wow you know what I mean it's so beautiful it's mad you know and you've been touring quite a bit already because you've been to several other festivals reggae sun sky you've been to Spain and all over the place how has that been going and and how are you also feeling you know touring is stressful sometimes you have to catch an early flight or something you can't really get too much sleep how is that working out well the journey is the journey you know you have to journey to, to you know, follow the music and, and bring it to the people so we enjoy the journey learning new things and it's definitely been a blessing here on this European tour you know it's 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 Europe has embraced us and we love that and we're gonna keep coming back hopefully and we're gonna keep bringing the Kingston fire same way yeah man um, you and um, being a family the the three brothers and your father is that um, a blessing or is it also some I mean I wouldn't say a curse in any way but sometimes I feel like yo we always have to stick together and there is no this is not just a job because family is uh, it's it's 100 percent it's the entire time it's all you're always gonna be family definitely yeah man I mean it's definitely a blessing you know it's the only thing I know honestly I've been doing this my entire life with my family. I don't know what it's like to do anything else with anybody else. So, you know, I'm blessed for what we do, you know, New Kingston family vibes for life. So was the upbringing set away where you already um, knew that it was going to lead at some point to you being a band or how did this come about and how was the upbringing like? I mean, there's, I love this question, you know, because, <laughs> um, you know, my pops, I would say like he really, uh, like, I wouldn't say he saved our life, but he just injected music in our life at the appropriate time, like the live side of music. We love music all our life, you know, but in terms of injecting like live music, saying, yo, here's instruments, play some instruments, go through college, meaning like we did a bunch of like gigs, you know what I mean, to kind of build the, the craft, you know, because he wanted us to play music, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. We played everything, you know, Earth, Wind and Fire to Dennis Brown, we played everything, you know what I mean? So. I was a proper college just to put us where we are now because he had that dream. He knew what he wanted in the back of his head the whole time. So he was like, yo, work on this, do this, do this, do this. And because he told us like when we came out here like 2016, 15, I think, and we did one show, just one show in Poland. You know what I mean? And the joy that he got from that was like, was immense, you know what I mean? Because that's his dream all along, you know, and we're actually living it through music, pushing some good music to the people. So. It's, like I said, it's just mad. That's all I really have to say. You know? <laughs> so you never felt like there's any pressure of, of leading to, to where you are now and you've always been just enjoying that? Well, for me, I, I, you know, as the eldest brother, that was always my mission. Music was always the mission. And then to, to actually join up with the bros and, and push that forward and, and to, to be where we are now, blessing, blessing. Mad thing, you know. Glad to hear, glad yeah. to hear. When I imagine, how can I imagine you being in the studio? Because I, um, you know, brothers, they fight sometimes and within a family you have different set of discussion. Maybe you said you love discussion, but maybe different set of discussion that you would have maybe if you were just colleagues or just, you know, 
um, mu musicians working together. So um, you always is someone the leader, or, or, or is there, is there, is there discussion about um, arrangements, about composition, or who puts in what when it comes to production? I, I want to answer. You know what the thing is? I say this to my brothers all the time because these are my brothers right here, right? So. I always wonder how groups work that aren't family. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, no matter what happens, we're family first. So that's like the best thing for us. You know what I mean? That's that, and that's all I can say. You know, everybody has their situations. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had to answer that. Sorry. So you feel like you can say things that maybe you couldn't say if it was just a, a, a random person that you're working with as a musician? Most definitely, because when they come with certain ideas and it's bad, I say, I don't like that. Straight. <laughs> One time, I don't like that. You know, it usually yeah, never yeah, yeah. happens, right? Yeah, because they're so creative and talented, yeah. you know. So, but yeah, man, the vibes, the family thing, I think makes it easier. Like I said, you know, I don't really know any other way. I mean, yeah, we created music with other people as well too, but it's a different thing. I feel like we can critique ourselves rougher than if we were just regular colleagues, you know. So that helps us get the best, you know. And you're doing reggae music and I mean looking at what young people doing or listening to especially also in the United States a lot of young people they gravitate to trap music. Um, reggae is not for especially for young people the first thing they might gravitate to. Why did you chose reggae though? I mean wow that's, that's a good question. Uh, maybe Steve should answer that one. Okay. He, he look, he looks Steve. Like he got <laughs> No, I mean, you know, as, as Jamaicans, definitely, right? You like trap music? Yeah, we like, yo, remember, remember, hip-hop come out of reggae, so it can never be denied, right? If you listen to, a, you take off a, a, the music off of a Sly and, a Sly and Robbie beat, you got a hip-hop beat, you know what I mean, to the end of the day. So for us, reggae is literally the backbone, but there's many influences in our music. So in, in terms of just picking one genre, there's all the genres in there because one, Reggae come out of uh, R&B and, 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 and that type of African sound as well. Yeah. And then now New Kingston, we bring our reggae heritage and mix that with other things. So you have the New York, you have the Dancehall, you have the, the, the Earth, Wind and Fire, like my brother say. Yeah. And you have the Dennis Brown, the Bob Marley, of course. So it's just a mixture of everything because the root is always going to be reggae. And then whatever we put on top of that is just that New Kingston sound. Yeah. So what inspires that new Kingston sound to you, for example? What do you listen to these days? I mean, we said that you used to play Earth, Wind and Fire and this stuff, but but who, who if, if I would turn on your, your iPod or whatever you have right now, what would I listen to? Man, I listen to a lot of different things. I know this is probably going to be cliche, but Drake is my favorite artist, you know? I like that guy. You know, definitely, I mean, you still got Bob Marley and that man that's, you know, a different league, but as for right now, you know, just his overall etiquette towards the music I love it you know so Drake but there's a lot of people make them answer who they listen yeah, please, to please yeah I mean you know I me mean? I love me some Maroon 5 and, and different things I'm a pop boy you know yeah. Yeah, so I love them type of thing there yeah 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 so and what about you? Uh, today I was listening to Toto there's a yep. lot of Toto like, oh, okay. yeah I like the music you know what I mean okay. and their music was on a different level you know exactly different from Drake also. Yeah, but that, it's, it's hard to say what you yeah. listen to because I could just give you 10 artists and 10 exactly. different yeah. musicians, you know what I mean? Because these days you can really listen to anything on your phone now, so yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and, and that also inspires your music or what is inspiration to you? Yeah, music, music inspires us first, you know what I mean? Me personally, music, the way that people could play music and feel the people with the music, you know what I mean? Because there's certain chords like you could play and certain things you could say like we did a uh, we were talking to somebody yesterday and she was just saying that you have the power and you doing the music you know what I mean so it's it's a blessing to be up on the stage and giving the people music to make them feel good you know yeah. Yeah. so the music is out already because the recent album has dropped last year what can we look forward to from you guys because everyone who has seen you is probably craving for more just more music, you know. We, 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 we've reveled in this album, this story that we, we've told, or these multiple stories we've told. And right now, it's time for some new stories, because every day we live life, we see new experiences. We're here at, at, at Reggae Jam right now, and I'm sure some of this is going to infiltrate our music. So it's just more music, newkingstonmusic.com. Check out all the social media, and definitely keep up. All right, we'll do that. New Kingston. 
Thank you very much. Please send the best regards to your father. Yes, sir. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's. No, he's, I'm sure he's taking in the show right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say because yesterday, who did, we did see him on stage and him just love oh, it Leroy and it. Yeah. 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 All the first legends he's worked with that have 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 somehow lectured us or mentored us in some way. So history, you know. Yeah, so all the best for Father P and his sons, Neo Kingston. Respect, respect. Bye, bye, bye. Me mad, me sick, me reggae feel.